Um, he died very, very peacefully. Um, he was in no distress or no pain, and he just just slipped away. Um, was it a shock then? Um, no, it was expected. Um, he hadn't been well since um, Thursday, and um, his condition had slowly sort of deteriorated over the weekend, so it was expected, yes. Um, he's been here since, what, 88, isn't it? Uh, no, he's been here three years. He oh, came in, years. yeah, in July 19... Uh, uh, July 07. Did he settle in straight away? He did actually. He was um, the life and soul of the party, um, I do have to say. Um, very much like on his films, um, he, was, oh, he was charming, he was funny, um, he liked to entertain the guests. Um, he gave the staff a hard time in the respect of that um, he used to play jokes on them. He used to sort of play dead in the morning and then you'd go in and you'd think, oh no, and then his eyes would open and the twinkle and then he'd sort of jump up and demand a cuddle. Um, or he'd stick his foot out as you were going past and um, try and trip you up and then he'd just burst into laughter. So, But he also entertained the residents um, a great deal. Um, if we had any entertainers on coming for the residents, he would often join in with them and so they'd be... A sort of double act going on, um, so it was very similar to his films. And did he settle in well? He did, yeah. Um, he, he got into nursing home life very, very quickly. Um, as I said, he settled in well. He was um, very happy here. Um, he loved. I mean, he did like going out, and he was taken out on a regular basis. He loved his drives around the Isle of Man. He loved going to the um, St Norman's Bar um, in Douglas. Um, and he attended many functions from here as well. So it was almost like being in his home home without, but without actually being in his own home. And have you got a fondest memory? Um, oh, I've got so many. Um, probably one of my fondest memories is um, when I was driving in myself around the island and um, his absolute admiration for the beauty of the island um, and then he would break into songs some of them um, were quite rude but um, and it was just sort of it was lovely to, to be with him at that stage on a one-to-one. -one. Now he's got a lot of fans have, have you had a lot of inquiries and lots of people asking you yeah, what happened and so on? The phone hasn't stopped ringing yes since since we announced it last night yeah. I think you look a bit sad yourself? Mm. It's been a very sad time for everybody, including the family. Well, on Friday next week, of course, we'll have quite a lot of people here. In fact, we're expecting it will be a completely full church, because after all, Sir Norman was a very important member of the island community, having lived here for many years. And obviously, there's going to be family representatives, but representatives from the whole community, and just people who are his fans, I'm sure, will be here. How many people can get into this church? We can seat about 550, so maybe about 600, I should think. Because I suppose no one actually knows how many people will want to attend. It's mm. in the afternoon, isn't it, on Friday? It's in the afternoon, 2 o'clock, and of course that is one of the problems, that there's no way of gauging how many people are going to turn up, so we've got to plan for the maximum capacity that we have. It's very sad, very sad. Great character last, but then he's had a good life. Um, I think a lot of people on the island admire him because he came from nowhere, didn't he? And made such a good name for himself. So, yeah. Very, really, very sad. Yeah, nice, nice guy. Real nice guy. Mm, wasn't he? Yeah, lovely. Mm. Yeah, good films, funny. Yeah. Charming. <laughs> I think it's incredibly sad. He was, uh, when I was a kid, he was one of my favourite com uh, comedians, along with Charlie Drake. Uh, and he's been a, a great character on the Isle of Man, done tons of charitable work. He'll be sadly missed. Um, I'm very saddened because I knew him very well because I used to live at Andreas and I've actually worked on this house which was called uh, Balath and um, I've known him for many years and he used to love his TT, he quite often went to Alpine Cottage to watch the bikes and sit amongst us and have a beer and he was a really down to earth person. And you do that with him and he would just look out onto the onto the gardens um, which are beautiful especially in the summer um, but this is one of his favorite places to have his afternoon tea and to sit here um, I like to keep fit I do exercise in the morning I 
I like to go for a jog several times a week, a jog and a walk. And, and uh, good, keep fit. I've got hair and everything. That's, that's <laughs>